In algebra, we are often interested in what we can divide something by, specifically what we can divide polynomials by. One thing we can divide by is this thing called the greatest common factor, which is the largest factor that divides into each term. Now, sometimes that's easy to identify with numbers, but tricky with variables. So, a little hint, with variables, we will use the lowest exponent. If you think about it, if I have five pencils and you have two pencils, what we have in common is we both have at least two. And so, we'll use the lowest is what we have in common. So, greatest common factor, we'll use the lowest exponent. So, we'll look at 15a to the 4th plus 10a squared. We want to know what we can divide the entire thing by. Well, looking at the numbers, we can divide 10 and 15 by the number 5. Looking at the variables, what they have in common is they all have at least two of the a's. Notice we're using the lowest exponent. We could divide both parts by 5a squared. So, we will say that the greatest common factor of this polynomial is 5a squared. It's the largest thing we can divide each term by. For example, if we had 4a to the 4th, b to the 7th, minus 12a squared, b to the 6th, plus 20a, b to the 9th. Again, we're looking at what can we divide all three terms. Terms are separated by plus and minus. What can we divide them all by? Well, looking at the numbers, 4, 12, and 20 can all be divided by 4. What about the variables? They all have a's in common, but we need to take the lowest exponent. They all have at least 1 from the third term, a to the first. They all have at least 1a in common. What about the b's? They do all have a b in common. How many? They all have at least the lowest exponent from the center. They all have at least 6 in common. So, the greatest common factor, the largest we can divide each term by, is 4ab to the 6th. This greatest common factor is going to be an essential foundational component to finding factors as we work through this unit.